<laughs> no, it's very important though. My potassium, I need to recover. <laughs> wow, that doesn't look real, does it? It looks amazing. In September 2018, we quit our jobs, sold everything we owned to go travelling around the world. We're taking What The Faux Travel podcast on the road to learn, challenge and explore the world. We've set up our own business, Ant Podcast Management, Amy, Nick, Thompson, get it, Ant, so that we can be location independent and travel full time. Our rough route starts in Europe and the Middle East, then moves on to Latin, Central and North America. On this episode, we explore San Pedro de Atacama. So we are now in San Pedro de Atacama, which you've heard a lot about this place. First impressions already look very good. We've got an adventure today, haven't we, Amy? What are we doing? Yeah, so we're renting some bikes and we're going to Valle de la Luna, which is Luna Valley. Apparently, I've seen a few photos, but apparently it looks like the moon. Surprising by the name, eh? So we're going to the moon and it's a small world. We've bumped into someone. It's our couch surfing host from Recife in Brazil. Yeah, hey Leo. guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's the party animal that is Leo. I don't think I can survive. Just a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I don't think I can survive another week with you. <laughs> Oh, but also, it'll be fun. talking of parties, our host, uh, where we're staying, has told us that there are parties at night time in, in the uh, desert. Yeah, So we're going to go to a desert party. Yeah, man. Party? I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. So it should be, yeah, we've got a lot planned here, so uh, let's get to it. San Pedro de Atacama is a town set at 2,408 metres in the Andes Mountains of northeastern Chile. It's a good base point to see lots of natural wonders like the desert, salt flats, volcanoes, geysers and hot springs. The town is filled with boutiques shops selling artisan products. You can rent some cheap bikes here like we did to cycle to the Valle de la Luna. Right, so we've just cycled through the entrance and quite a bit further we've had the most stunning views of like volcanoes, snow capped mountains, rock and salt. Looks amazing. Gonna be honest though, I'm struggling. Yeah. So I have asthma, and last time I went to the doctors, the nurse was like, "You're not doing your, your pump properly. You're only breathing like a third of what you should be." I was like, "Oh." And we're at high altitude. It's hot, and I'm on fit. So <laughs> it's been quite hard. Leo's been speeding off. He's super fit, and Nick has been kindly sticking with me. And. Yeah, but it is hard, but um, but it's cheap. So to rent some bikes is 3,000 Chilean pesos. And so that's like £3.50 for six hours. So we're pretty happy with that price. But we're about to go up here, I think. Right up the top here. Duna What's it called? Duna Mayor. Duna Mayor. Mayor? Are Major. you Argentinian? Si, un poco. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll go up there and show you the views. Also, what I forgot to say was I crashed within like two minutes of being on the bike. <laughs> my left brake didn't work and I had my phone in my right hand and I was like, my brakes she aren't working. Kill me. <laughs> I was like this close to his back wheel and then I ended up crashing into a wall. So that was great. El Valle de la Luna, Valley of the Moon, is located 13 kilometers west of San Pedro de Atacama. It has various stone and sand formations which have been carved by wind and water over time. But now, because of the lack of humidity, there is no life here, which has turned it into one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. There's four main hiking trails here with medium hiking difficulty, or you can ride your bike or go on horseback. What do you think of this place, Leo? Breathtaking, really. It, it is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Like, uh, as I was saying, like always when I 
see something like this, I get like really emotional. <laughs> what are you doing with this planet really? We need to save the planet. Yes, okay. Use plastic and also don't do plastic, you don't need it. We all are born perfectly. <laughs> Great advice. If you've watched our last vlog of the Very Large Telescopes, you'll know that the Atacama Desert is one of the best places in the world to stargaze. So we met some other travellers from our hostel, bought some beers from the shop, downloaded a free stargazing app on our phones and headed into the desert to relax under the stars. We've got a car! So, we've got, we've got a crew. We've, yeah, we've got a car and a crew. It's, our plans work perfectly. We've, this has been a couple of weeks in the making. We've managed to get a crew together. Look at this car, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and where are we going, Nick? Um, we are going to a lagoon where we can float, float in the salt water. And then later, a bit like the Dead Sea. Water. And then another lagoon later, I think, where the hopefully flamingos, where we'll go for sunset. Mm. Road trip! Wow, what a good car. Oh, yeah. It is cool. Meet our crew for the day. We've got Tim, our driver. We have Nina from Germany. We have Amy from England. Hi. We have Leo from Brazil. And you've already met Tim. Tim's from France. This is the same guy we picked up when he was hitchhiking in the this desert. I'm driving. <laughs> and now we're the hitchhikers. Bienvenidos a Lagunas Escondidas de Baltinache. No, this is not snow that we're walking on, this is salt. These lagoons have crystal turquoise waters with great concentrations of salt, which produces the same buoyancy effect as the Dead Sea at the border of Jordan and Israel. How beautiful is this place? I can't believe it because you see pictures and you think it's maybe Photoshop, but this looks amazing here. It's really cool. So. There's a few that you can only take photos of, but there's two that you can swim in. One of them being natural. I think the other one's man-made. What do you think? Wow, that doesn't look real, does it? It looks amazing. Wow. Now don't get too gel of our swimming experience here because one, the water is freezing. We may be in the middle of a desert, but this water is shockingly cold. And two, as this water makes you float, that means it has a high content of salt, which tends to ruin everything. So I have a problem with my shorts that are salty and crusty. Look at this, what's happened? They're like rock hard as well. I feel like a crack in them. Now we are all showered, got all that salt off of us and um, come back to the car and we've got a flat tyre. So, I mean, is there a better way uh, to have a flat tyre than in the desert? I feel like it's the best place, right? Okay, so we have three men here. One, two, three. But who is jacking up the car? The female. You showed me. How could I do this? Yeah, to be fair, me and there uh, you're happy. Me and Leo have done nothing. Yeah, so this guy's this guy's been very helpful. You're just standing there watching them all. <laughs> you're all doing a really good job. And I'm documenting it, so I have a job. Are you, are you learning? Though? I'm definitely learning. This is like the first. Then we still have to run. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on. Uh, maybe not. Oh, we have to... Maybe don't rent me. Everybody's working hard. And what are you doing, Leo? No, it's very important. Though. My potassium. I need to recover. <laughs> I did my part already. <laughs> are we good? Way. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Maybe. But you want to. What you want to do is that zero G flight where you know you take a plane and then you get. To... I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this is a place where you find flamingos and 
there's some over there and there's a really nice colour over the mountains, they're all turning pink from the sun. This place is insanely gorgeous, it's so nice. on the sign the yeah, nearest so hospital away. is in Kalama which must be like what two three hours away? It's a long way away yeah. So, oh, it's, oh, oh look. look it's coming out. <laughs> El Tatio is a geyser field located in the Andes mountains at 4,320 meters above sea level. It's the largest geyser field in the southern hemisphere. Now our biggest bit of advice is again to hire a car with lots of other travelers to spread the cost. Chile isn't cheap, especially when it comes to San Pedro tours. Just the entrance to El Tatio is 15,500 Chilean pesos, which is about 15 pounds. <laughs> you can do your own geezer. Uh, yeah, get from the top. Are you okay this morning, Amy? <laughs> Are you alright this the morning? The altitude's got to my head. Yeah, it seems like you're on drugs. Our next stop was the thermal pools. Unfortunately, Amy forgot her bikini, so she couldn't go in. It's like he's walking into heaven. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> oh, he's over there. Oh, yes, Tim's in. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Bloody lovely. <laughs> That's why you don't go in, because it's freezing. <laughs> Look at him running. <laughs> oh, did he go in the wrong way? Oh, you're down. Uh, oh, it's a disaster. <laughs> 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 that is why you don't go in the water. See, he's acting cool about it, as if it's not even cold. <laughs> what are the French like? We've just found this fox. Is this a fox? Oh Think my so. god. Wow. Hello, Mr. Fox. Do you want to oh, hurt us? Amazing. Oh my god, the face is gorgeous. <gasps> Look at his nose. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna jump. I'm not even in the window. <laughs> <laughs> they're a bit, they're like very dog like, aren't they? Yeah, mm. they are friendly. Oh, mm. he's on so cute. Oh no, he's, no, he's, oh, no, he's, he's relaxed. Mm, good boy. Uh, you just said he looked nice and he's just opened his jaw. Mm. Big bad wolf. I think it ended on a real high, the Atacama Desert. Blew our minds. What do we think, guys? It was so good, wasn't it? Really thick and totally. Mm. Exactly. It's just like every view you see, like you walk a couple of steps and there's a different view and it's just like, it blows your mind. Yep. I'd say if anybody is like, 
wanting a midlife crisis or just want to like calm down, go to Chile and it will just freshen you up. Just yeah, crazy. just like yeah, the north in the Atacama Desert. I couldn't believe for a really dry desert how much like variety there was, different mm. landscapes, lagoons, pools you can swim in. It was amazing. As you can see, we're still with Leo, our friend from Brazil. Um, but it's time for the next adventure because we're now in another country. We're in Bolivia. Ooh. And what are we doing today? Sala of Uni. Next time on What the Foe. My friend, El Diablo. Diablo. Our guy doesn't seem to be too bothered. We haven't really heard from him. He just sits in the car and doesn't really do anything. But what an amazing place to be.